the, uh, the reservation is withdrawn and the gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I can only characterize this amendment as extreme. Uh, if adopted, this amendment would make an already reckless bill even more careless and would weaken our national energy security. Now, let me say that I totally disagree with what the gentlewoman just said. First of all, uh, what President Biden has done, as we've said repeatedly today, is to release uh, crude oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve in order to bring down uh, gas prices. And he actually accomplished that goal. It worked by bringing down prices about $1.50 per gallon since the peak uh, last June. In addition to that, we set forth uh, that uh, uh, this was to address the supply chain, because we know that uh, with, the, uh, with the war in Ukraine, uh, the supply chain was severely limited, and the, one of the purposes of releasing oil from the reserve was to have more in the supply chain. The gentlewoman also suggested that, uh, that we're restricting, that this administration is restricting the use of public lands for drilling. That is simply not the case. There are, half of the public lands are available for drilling. As I've said before, the, the oil companies simply don't want to drill because they want to keep the prices artificially high by not drilling. No, I'm not yielding at this time. Now, what, this, what the gentlewoman has done, and I just want to explain this in a little detail, Right now, the bill before us does have an exemption that says you don't have to drill or put forth a plan to drill on public lands if certain, um, if certain criteria are met. It says during a severe energy supply interruption, uh, if the president determines that an emergency situation exists and there's a significant reduction in supply, a severe increase in the price of petroleum products, and or such price increase is likely to cause a major adverse impact on the national economy. So even under this underlying bill, if those criteria are met, the president can use the SPRO and release oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve for these reasons. What the gentlewoman has done in this, or tries to do in this amendment, is eliminate those exemptions. So essentially what she's saying, and this is why this is so extreme, is she's saying it doesn't matter if there's a problem with high prices, it doesn't matter if there's a problem with the supply chain. We're not gonna let the president release oil from the reserve for any reason whatsoever, unless a plan is put forward to uh, allow for more drilling on public lands. That is extreme. Even the Republican leadership doesn't support that. She's saying no exemptions whatsoever. Imagine what this would do if we had no flexibility whatsoever, no matter what the price was, no matter what the supply was, no matter what the emergency is, not allow. You've got to put together a plan which could take years to put forward a way of drilling more on public lands before we would be able to use this tool, which is so important for national security. This is really, in my opinion, outrageous and extreme. And I would urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to, to oppose the amendment for, for this reason, and I yield back.